welcome to our 2020 OCM BOCES graduation ceremony. I'd like to thank our Deputy Superintendent Colleen Vigiano, our OCM BOCES board members, the District Superintendents, Special Education Directors, and families for joining us in this celebration. We are very excited and proud to be able to celebrate the graduation of our students from ADT, AHSEP, Crossroads, OCC Transition Program, Lafayette Transition, and TEP. I'd like to invite Brian Asbury to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cassie Hudson will be our student speaker today. Cassie, I'd like to welcome you up to the podium. Hi, I'm Cassidy Hudson. I'm part of the 2020 OCM BOCES and Bacon graduating class. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the graduating class of Crossroads and how hard we have all worked to get here. I came to Crossroads in ninth grade and I continue until my senior year. These past four years have been a long, rewarding journey with a lot of ups and downs. Looking back on it, these past four years have allowed me to grow as a person and as a student. When I first came here, I was a very easily agitated student who would get frustrated pretty fast. With the help of my teachers and social workers, I have been determined to change and grow with the use of coping strategies. With these strategies, I have came a long way from when I was 13 years old to now. I will continue to use these strategies in my postgraduate life to make the transition easier. Not only was I able to receive a high school diploma, I, was also, I also found my passion in nursing through BOCES. Over the past two years while in nursing, it helped me grow as a person. I am thrilled to I am thrilled and excited to finally get my CNA certificate. It was not easy, but it was well worth it. I will continue my nursing education this fall at OCC. Overall, I would really like to thank all my social workers, teachers, and definitely principal who helped me along the way with helping helped me along the way with helping me become a better person and a student. BOCES was a great fit for me because it helped me develop myself and my passion. Again, thank you and congratulations, graduates of 2020. I'd like to now welcome our OCM BOCES board member, Bob Crabtree, to award the Blossom Allen Crabtree Memorial Scholarship. On behalf of Robert Crabtree, our OCM BOCES Board of Education member, I am honored to award the Blossom Allen Crabtree Memorial Scholarship on his behalf. This year's Blossom Allen Crabtree Memorial Scholarship is being given to a student who has demonstrated perseverance and kindness. He has the type of personality that can brighten up any room. His humor makes other people feel at ease. This is a student who is always willing to help others and has been a positive role model in the program. He believes the, in the importance of post-secondary education and is excited to continue his education with essential skills in the workplace. This young man is graduating and will be attending the Inclusive Youth Program at Syracuse University to further his vocational and independent living skills. It is with great pleasure that the Blossom Allen Crabtree Memorial Scholarship be presented to Jeremy Mead. Best of luck. I know you will continue to grow as a student and a valued member of our community. Thank you. I'd like to now welcome our District Superintendent, Colleen Vigiano, to recognize our graduates. Thank you so much, Class of 2020. I am so excited to be here today to celebrate this amazing achievement with all of you. So many people have supported you on this journey. Your family, friends, loved ones, and a caring, devoted team at OCM BOCES. All of us have believed in you and your ability to shine. But you, the class of 2020, made it happen. Despite a year that brought historic challenges, you put in the days, weeks, months, and years of hard work to reach this milestone in your life. I hope you enjoy this celebration because you've earned it. 
On behalf of all of us at OCM BOCES, I am delighted to say we are so proud of you. As you take this next step into the future, I only have three short pieces of advice. Keep learning and challenging yourself. Always be grateful for the important people in your lives. And believe in yourself and know you can reach your goals. Finally, as you celebrate today, I hope you will always appreciate the positive memories you made during your time at OCM BOCES. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020. We wish you all the very best. Armani has been in the TEP program since 2019. Armani is a compassionate, fashion-forward young lady with a vibrant personality. She has also participated in the Career Development Occupational Studies Foods Program where she enjoys helping in the Electric Apple and the bakery. Armani's goal after graduation is to obtain part-time employment, preferably in the retail fashion industry. Armani Bellum, North Syracuse, TEP, congratulations. Alex was anxious to take the task exam and start the next chapter in his life. His determination and focus led to his success, passing the task and earning his high school equivalency diploma. He is currently employed part-time in the restaurant industry. As a result, he was able to buy his first car. Way to go, Alex. Alex Gentili, JD, AHSEP. Congratulations, Alex. Wayne entered the ASEP program at the start of the new year with the resolution of passing the task exam. In just a few short weeks of preparation, Wayne's positive attitude, hard work, and motivation helped him to achieve his goal. Wayne is a polite and personable young man. He hopes to pursue a career in the music industry. Best of luck, Wayne. Wayne Green, ESM High School, HSEP. Congratulations. Pick up your certificate over there. Keep going. <laughs> Tom came into the ASAP class determined to take on the challenge to prepare and pass the task exam. He's excited to start the next chapter in his life. He is hoping to find a part-time job at a restaurant or a store. He plans to take the civil service test to become a school custodian or bus driver. Good luck, Tom. Thomas Parks. Liverpool, AHSEP. Congratulations, Thomas. Bobby is a bright and capable young man. He worked hard to pass the task. He plans to further his education by attending college and plans to become a computer video game designer. Good luck, Bobby. Robert Smola, West Hill, AHSEP, congratulations. Through hard work, focus, and dedication, Jacquez passed the task exam. He hopes to work at a school someday. He has the ambition to work with children. He hopes to be a school bus aide. He currently works part-time. He looks forward to seeing what the future brings. Good luck, Jacquez. Jacquez Taylor, ESM, AHSEP. Congratulations. <laughs> Zachary Bunnell from Baldwinsville Central School District. Zach started the program while simultaneously attending the welding program. He has learned a lot through his experiences at OCM BOCES and is thrilled to have passed the task exam. He plans on getting a part-time job. Best of wishes, Zach. Anthony Brown, West Genesee Central School District. Anthony started the program this past fall. Through his hard work, focus, and dedication, he passed the task exam. 
He's looking forward to seeing what the future brings and is planning on looking for a part-time job. Best of luck, Anthony. James Conkey, Liverpool. James was with us for only a few short months. He worked hard and did what he needed to do to pass the task exam. He is a polite and kind young man. He is a car and small house enthusiast. He attended the Osiambosis auto body repair program while simultaneously attending the GED program. Good luck, James. Anthony DiCristino, West Genesee. Anthony is very ambitious. After only a few short months of preparation, he passed the task exam in November. He is anxious to travel the world and to provide for his family. He plans to pursue a career in the military. Good luck, Anthony. Jacob Gamble, North Syracuse Central School District. Through hard work and determination, Jacob passed the task exam. He plans to work in a school. He would like to become a school custodian. He is currently employed part-time doing landscaping. Best wishes, Jacob. Ernest Langto, Liverpool. Ernie is a determined young man. Through perseverance and commitment, he passed the task exam. He knew his diploma would open doors of opportunity for a bright future. He plans to pursue higher education in a career in computers or possibly graphic design. Good luck, Ernie. Summer Snyder, Chitnango. Summer is artistically talented. She has a strong personality and will. She worked very hard with wonderful motivation to pass the task exam. She achieved her goal in only three months. She currently is working part-time and plans to pursue further training in the future. She is interested in cosmetology. Best wishes, Summer. Carter Sika, Baldwinsville Central School District. Carter started the ASAP program this fall. He worked hard and passed the task exam. Carter willingly accepted the help that is offered and is very polite and respectful. He is eager to help others. He is excited to move on to the next chapter of his life. Best wishes, Carter. Leela Vare, Baldwinsville. Leela entered the ASIP program very focused and determined to get her diploma. Accepting of support and guidance, she achieved this goal. She hopes to further her education and become a forensic scientist. She lives by the words, she believed she could, so she did. Best wishes, Leela. Brooke has worked hard these past years in the Crossroads program, earning a Regents Diploma. After high school, her plans are to attend Onondaga Community College to obtain a degree in character design and continue to work with Access VR. Our staff has described Brooke as being a hardworking student and very respectful. Brooke has grown over the last few years, developing coping skills and maintaining a great attendance in high school. Brooke, we are very proud of your hard work. Good luck in your future. Brooke Arnold, Baldwinsville from Crossroads. Joe is a kind and humorous individual who is outgoing and enjoys the company of others. Joe has been actively employed at KFC while in Crossroads where he has demonstrated great teamwork skills and is a dependable employee. After graduation, Joe plans on continuing to work at KFC while exploring other options for himself, which may include learning a trade. Good luck, Joe. Joe Ciccarelli, North Syracuse, from Crossroads. Alex has been with BOCES for all of high school, but came to Crossroads for his senior year. Alex is a hard worker and helped others during his time at Crossroads. Alex will also be finishing his certification in construction technology. Alex's future plans are to pursue an apprenticeship as a heavy machine operator. Alex Fact, Liverpool. KJ has been in the Crossroads program since his sophomore year. 
KJ is a kind and courteous young man. He often would share what he had with his peers and demonstrated kindness throughout the building on a daily basis. He enjoyed coming to school each day with a positive attitude and greeting others as he entered school each morning. KJ is planning to attend the carpentry program offered by the adult education program at OCM BOCES in the fall. Kenneth Fields, Fayetteville Manlius from Crossroads. Ben has been at Crossroads for his junior and senior years. Ben has always been very caring and friendly towards others and has always offered to lend a hand to help out. He also works part-time, plays video games, plays sports, and spends time with his family. Ben's plans are to pursue a career after high school when he decides which of his interests he wants to follow. His current interests are in being a skill builder or working in security. Good luck, Benjamin. Ben Hogan, Liverpool, from Crossroads. Cassidy has worked hard these past years in the Crossroads program, earning a Regents Diploma. After high school, her plans are to attend Onondaga Community College to obtain a degree in nursing. Our staff has described Cassidy as being hardworking and very respectful. Cassidy has grown over the last few years, developing coping skills and maintaining great attendance in high school. Cassidy, we are very proud of your hard work. Good luck in the future. Cassidy Hudson, Baldwinsville from Crossroads. Patrick started the Crossroads program during the summer of his freshman year. Patrick has certainly been a student who has persevered in his educational goals and has consistently demonstrated kindness to his peers. Patrick has participated in the Friends of Rachel School Club and was committed to being a big supporter of this club. He loves to design different patterns that would be applied to cars and has attended the Auto Collision Program at the Thompson Road Campus. He plans to seek employment after graduation. Patrick Jobson, North Syracuse from Crossroads. Taylor has been at Crossroads for his senior year. In that time, he has been a very caring and friendly peer. Taylor also completed one year of the career development program as well. His interests are sports, video games, music, and culinary. Taylor's future plans are to pursue, pursue a job in cooking. Taylor Jones, Liverpool from Crossroads. John has worked hard this past year in the Crossroads program, earning a high school diploma. After high school, his plans are to work and save up money to move into his own apartment. Our staff has described John as being a hardworking student and very respectful. John has grown over the last year, developing coping skills and maintaining great attendance in high school. John, we are very proud of your hard work. Good luck in the future. John Matthews, Baldwinsville, and Crossroads. Congratulations, buddy. Go we'll get your certificate. Jeremy has been with us at Crossroads for all of high school. He has stayed determined and been a hard worker throughout it all. He has also been kind and a great friend to many. He likes to play video games and be active in the community and spend time with others. Jeremy's plans are to go to Syracuse University this fall. He has interests in law enforcement and security. Jeremy Mead, Baldwinsville from Crossroads. <laughs> Alex is a friendly and approachable individual who has a great sense of humor and enjoys being comical with others. Alex's favorite classes include culinary arts, data analysis, physical education, and art. Alex has been actively seeking employment opportunities and is exploring his options after graduating. 
Alex is looking forward to life beyond high school. Congratulations, Alex. Alex Niles, Onondaga Central from Crossroads. Grab your envelope. Faith has worked hard these past years in the Crossroads programming, earning a Regents Diploma. After high school, her plans are to work and save money to move into her own apartment. Our staff have described Faith as being a hardworking student and very respectful. Faith has grown over the last few years, developing wonderful coping skills and maintaining a positive attitude in high school. Faith, we are very proud of your hard work. Good luck in the future. Faith Rapazzo, North Syracuse, from Crossroads. Go right across, grab your envelope, Faith, and then walk off. Good job. Chris is a sociable person who enjoys talking to others, physical education class, and playing video games. Chris has also been participating in the culinary program at the Thompson Road campus. After graduation, Chris plans on exploring his options with Onondaga Community College. In the future, Chris would like to join the restaurant industry. Chris Van Horn, Liverpool, from Crossroads. Cody has been at Crossroads for his junior and senior years. Cody has worked hard these past two years and has done the career development program. He enjoys music, video games, and spending time with friends. Although he is currently undecided in what he wants to study, Cody plans to attend Onondaga Community College in the fall. Cody Wessing, Solvay from Crossroads. Maddie entered the ASEP program with a fierce determination to pass the task exam. After just a few weeks of hard work and preparation, she achieved her goal. She plans to further her education to become a music therapist. She also has an interest in learning about cars and working with animals. Best wishes, Maddie. Congratulations, Maddie DeVito, East Syracuse, Manoa. Nate has been in our BOCES transition program at Lafayette High School for four years. He is friendly, cooperative, a quick learner, naturally curious, and sociable. Nate is interested in working outdoors and has a focused interest in natural appreciation for the central New York area. He is involved in Boy Scouts, has worked as a ski instructor during the winter months, and enjoys outdoor recreational activities such as camping and hiking. After high school, Nate has indicated that he would like to pursue his post-secondary education by attending Onondaga Community College. Nathan Dilmore from the Tully Central School District. He's in our Lafayette program. Congratulations, Nate. Jordan has been in our BOCES transition classroom at Lafayette High School for four years. He is interested in using his listening skills to become a mentor to other youth and wants to continue his employment in the food service industry where he currently has a part-time job. Jordan possesses a caring personality, loves to socialize with others, and gets involved in anything that's physically challenging. Jordan's future plans include entering a vocational program in order to find a career that best suits him which may include acquiring some job training skills in a post-secondary education setting at Onondaga Community College. Jordan Stallman, he's from the Fabius Pompey School District and he's in our Lafayette program. Congratulations, Jordan. Thank you. <laughs> Apple. 
Cameron attended the BOCES transition program at Lafayette High School this year and will be graduating with a Regents Diploma. Cameron is a very charismatic, smart, and kind person. He enjoys learning Japanese and is an incredible artist. Upon graduation, Cameron would like to attend BOCES adult education program to pursue a trade in welding. Congratulations, Cameron. We wish you success and happiness in your future endeavors. Cameron Watson from the North Syracuse Central School District. Cameron's in our Lafayette program. Congratulations. Hussein, you have changed everyone's lives in the Stellata program for the better. Your kind heart, giant smile, and compassionate personality leaves a smile on everyone's face. You have grown into a hardworking, dedicated young man who has accomplished so much. Your possibilities are endless, and we can't wait to see where your heart takes you. Good luck, Hussein. And this is Hussein al Akbi from Chittenango, graduating from the Stellata program of the OCM BOCES. Woohoo! Congratulations! Richard, our classroom will not be the same without you. You bring humor, lightness, and kindness into our classroom. You have excelled at helping your friends and teachers daily. Your skills have grown so much, and you have opened your mind to different opportunities. We are so proud of the hard work that you've accomplished. Congratulations, Richard. You will be so missed. Richard Biazza from North Syracuse, graduating from the Stellata program. Congratulations. Shane has been in the TEP program since 2017. Shane is a passionate young man who enjoys making others laugh and smile. Shane has participated in the career development program and the school to work program where he completed an internship at Lemoyne College in their dining hall and also in their grounds maintenance department. Shane has held a part-time job throughout the school year at Moe's Southwest Grill where he plans to continue working after graduation. Shane Hunter, Salve Central School District. Congratulations, Shane. Thank you. Violet has been in the TEP program since 2017. Violet is a hardworking, thoughtful, and inquisitive young lady. Violet has participated in the Career Development Program and the School to Work Program, where she has completed internships at Top Supermarket, St. Joseph's Child Care Center, the Cooperative Babysitting Services of Onondaga Hill, and the Thrifty Shopper. After graduation, Violet plans on seeking employment. Violet Colby, West Genesee, Top. Congratulations, Violet. Yay, Violet! <laughs> Honey, grab your certificate. <laughs> Shonder has been in the TEP program since 2014. Shonder is a hardworking and caring young man. He has also participated in the career development program where he has completed several internships at the Doubletree Hotel in Midas. Shandar is passionate about cars and hopes to one day find a job restoring them. After graduation, Shandar's goal is to work side by side with his father. 
Shandar Paulus from the Lafayette School District, TEP. Congratulations, Shandar. Go grab your certificate, bud. Yay! <laughs> Brian Asbury, you are a remarkable young man and proof that learning never stops. You sought out advancement and kept achieving within the BOCES programs. Brian's personality traits are first rate. He has a strong sense of humor and compassion for others. He is always there to lend a hand and has formed lifelong friendships due to his caring nature. Congratulations, Brian. You have earned it. Brian Asbury from the Liverpool Central School District with the OCC Transition Program. Madeline Ginger Radcliffe, you have brought energy and the highest amount of creativity to the Onondaga Community College Transition Program. Maddie lets her light shine. She's fearless and not afraid to be heard and has made strong connections with staff and peers in whichever classroom she has been in. Maddie, your smile and energy will be truly missed and we can't wait to see what else you will accomplish. Madeline Radcliffe from the West Genesee Central School District with the OCC Transition Program. As we celebrate this accomplishment, we'd like to thank families for the collaboration and privilege of working with your child. To the graduating class of 2020, I commend you on the perseverance and determination you have demonstrated in reaching this momentous accomplishment. We are very proud of you and wish you all the best. Thank you again for joining us today to celebrate our graduates. <laughs>